Hi everyone, it's Shakula and here on my channel I teach you how to draw in Procreate. Follow my step-by-step -step tutorial and you will be able to draw this illustration. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Now before you start drawing, make sure to download the color palette and my free Procreate brushes and paper textures. They are linked in the description of this video. And if you enjoyed this video and would like to draw more of me, join my Patreon and you will get access to my special Procreate tutorials and brushes. And with all that being said, let's start. Let's make a new canvas, A4 canvas from Procreate. Rotate it this way. And first we are going to draw the horizon line. For this let's take the color. We are going to take this color. This will be the color of the ocean. Let's pick the brush. Let's go to calligraphy and take model line brush. Let's make the brush size 4% and we are going to draw a straight line a little bit lower than the middle of the canvas. Let's draw it somewhere here. Hold your pencil and screen to make this a straight line. And now you can put your finger here to make this horizontal. We can drag and drop the color here like this. Now we can draw the sky. For this we are going to make a new layer, so tap here and let's move it under the layer with the ocean, so here. Let's change the color, let's take the first one here. We are going to create a gradient on the sky. For this we can take the selection tool, at the bottom let's pick rectangle and turn on color fill. Let's select a rectangle on top of the canvas. Somewhere like this. Let's tap here to finish. And now we're going to take another color. Next one in line, this one. And we're going to select another rectangle. Lower than the first one. Make sure those two colors will be overlapping here. And let's do it around this size. Let's tap here to finish and let's take another color for the sky, this one. Let's take the selection again and select the third rectangle like this here. We can take it all the way to the bottom of the canvas. Let's tap here to finish and now we want to blend those colors together. So for this we can go to the adjustments and take Gaussian Blur. Swipe your pencil and screen to the blur size and let's make this 43%. Let's tap here to finish. I would like to have some more of that light color visible so I can take the arrow tool and just move it up. At the bottom I have uniform option selected and snapping turned on. So I can move it up now like this, just a little bit. We can tap here to finish now and now we can mark our island here. For this we can make a new layer. It should be on top of the water of the ocean. Let's change the color. Now we're just going to mark the shape of it so we can take the darkest color here, this one. And we can change the brush for this. Let's go to artistic and let's take this one. Tarila. Let's make the brush size 7% and we can just mark the shape of our island like this. It doesn't have to be anything precise now. I just want to have this before I will draw the clouds on the sky. For now this is enough. So now let's draw the clouds in the sky. Let's make a new layer for this. And let's move this layer under the layer of the ocean, over here. 
so it will be above the layer of the sky. Let's pick the color for our clouds. We are going to start with this one. And let's pick the brush. Let's go to airbrushing and take soft brush. Let's make the brush size 8%. And we are just going to mark our clouds here at the bottom. Just like that. Now we can make the brush size smaller. 4% and start drawing some smaller clouds above this big shape of the clouds here. And now that we have this, we can start adding here more colors. So let's take another color for the clouds, this one. And we can add it on top of the other color in random places like this. For now, this is nothing precise. Make sure you're using here very little pressure. Now let's take another color, next one in line, this one. And again, let's add in a few places. We can slowly start defining the shape of the clouds. And now let's take another color, this one. We can make the bar size a little bit smaller. Let's make it 3%. And start drawing on top of these clouds again. Draw in like a circular motions like this and don't use too much pressure. Now we can take again our darker color for the clouds. Let's take this one. Let's make the burst size a little bit smaller, 2%. And bring it in here in a few places 
marking the shadow on those clouds. Now let's take the brightest color for the clouds, this one. Let's make the brush size bigger again, 4%. And add it on top of the clouds again, on the top parts of them. Now let's make that brush size smaller, 2%, and draw very small clouds somewhere here like this. Just make this way brighter in few spots. Now, before we add some more color here, let's blend those colors together a little bit. Let's take this match tool, let's tap on it again, and let's set it here to soft blend from airbrushing. Let's make the bar size small, 3%. And very light, let's make the Okay, let's take the brush again, let's change the color, take this one now, and again we're going to add it on top of the clouds, let's make the brush size 3% and add it in few places. Now we are still going to add some shadow at the bottom parts of the clouds. For this we can make a new layer. And we'll move this under that layer of the clouds here. Let's change the color. We'll take this one, the first one in the third line. And let's draw of it at the bottom parts of the clouds like this. Thank you. 
we can now take the eraser let's tap on it again and let's set it also to airbrushing and soft brush let's make the brush size two percent and now we can just erase very lightly a little bit of that shadow if we added it too much let's go back to the brush and now we're going to take some color manually here so we have this color here and we'll take it down here like that and a little bit to the left let's add it again here and this should be enough for the clouds now we can draw a small beach over here let's make a new layer for this and let's move this on top of the ocean layer and under the island let's pick the color take this one we can keep our brush that we have now let's make it smaller 2% And we are just going to mark the place where this beach will be. So it will be like that. Something like this is okay. Let's take the smart tool now. And we can very lightly extend it like that. Just soften the edges of this. Make sure you're moving horizontal. Now let's add some color here. Let's take this one. Let's take the brush again. And add some lines on top of this. Horizontal lines. Very lightly. Let's make it smaller now. 1% and extend this line here like that let's make it bigger now 3% and there'll be some shadow here under those trees that are on the island like that And now let's take another color, this one, and add it very lightly here too. And let's make it smaller, 2%, like the lower end of the 2%. And draw some lines going into the ocean. Let's take the smudge tool and very lightly we can smudge it again. Okay, for now this is okay. We can go back to this later. Now let's draw some of those trees here. So let's go to the layer of the island, this one. And let's change the color. Let's take this one. And let's change the brush. Let's go to artistic and take this one again. Taralia. We can keep this brush size 7. And just add it here like that. In the middle of this shape. Like 
you can stamp it like this too. Now let's change the color. Take this one and we'll add it in the same way. Just stamp it a few times over here. Let's make the brush size smaller now, 2%. And we can focus here on the edge of this island, of those trees. Now let's change the color. Let's take this one. And we can add it very little somewhere like this here. Just a little bit here. And now let's make the brush size bigger. 4%. And here we have a second row of the trees closer to us, so we'll add more of this color here. Let's change the color now again. Now we can take this one and we'll add it here like that. Let's make the bar size smaller, 2%. And let's add it more precisely like this. Make some smaller spots with this color. And we can add a little bit of this color also on those trees behind now to define the shapes better we are going to go back to that dark color this one and we can make the brush size bigger 3% and we're going to draw here a border between those trees in front and the ones that are behind use your stamping motion Let's make the bar size smaller now, 2%. And add some more details here like this. And we can also bring this dark color here in the trees in front, like that.
Now let's take another dark color for the trees. This one. Let's make the bar size bigger, 3%. And just add it here like that. And another change of color. Take this one now again. And let's make the bar size smaller, 2%. And define the edge of this front trees here. Now maybe I'll take this color and add it a little bit here too. Let's add some more green colors here. And now again we can change the color, we can take this one and with a bigger brush, 4%, let's add it here like this, very lightly, to kind of blend those colors together here. So make sure you don't use much pressure here. Now let's work here on the edge of those trees. Let's take the eraser, let's tap on it again and let's set it to the same brush. So this one, let's make it smaller, 3% and just erase this here like this. Now again, let's take the brush and let's add it here again a little bit. We can take now darker color, this one, and make the brush size smaller, 3%, and very lightly draw this here at the edge of those trees. Now we can draw here a big rock in front of those trees. Let's make a new layer for this. Let's change the color. Take this one. And let's change the brush. Let's take here this one, Larapuna. Let's make the brush size 13. And draw here a shape like that. Let's make the brush size smaller now, 5%, and let's work on the edge here. And now let's change the color, take this one. We can just add it here like this. Just darken this shape here at the bottom and add few spots in the middle.
Now we can change the brush. Let's take hearts and let's change the color. Take this one. Let's make it smaller, 2%. And we can draw here some shadow on this rock. Let's make the bar size bigger now, 4%. And just darken this whole part here at the bottom. And now again, let's take this color and just add it somewhere in the middle of the stone. Just adding some more texture here. Now let's go back to that dark color and change the brush. Let's go to airbrushing and soft brush. And we can just darken this here again at the bottom. Very lightly. And maybe a little bit here. And now let's work on the ocean. And we'll go back to this beach in a moment. So let's open the layers. Let's tap on the layer of the ocean. And let's make a new layer above it. And we want to draw onion this shape, so we have to set this layer to clipping mask. Let's change the color. Take this one. And we can still use the soft brush. Let's make it small. 1%. And just draw a straight line here at the edge, at the horizon here. So hold your pencil here like this. And let's draw another line a little bit lower. And now another one. Now some lines lower here. Just keep making them straight and horizontal. Now let's add here a very bright line at the horizon. Let's change the color for this. Take this one. And draw a line right under that dark one. Like this. We can also add one more line here. And here. Now let's make the bar size bigger. 3% and add it very lightly here on this side and now on this side we go back to that darker color this one and darken this here now let's take even darker color this one and make this darker here. Let's make the bar size smaller again. 1% and draw darker line here. Now we can make the bar size bigger. 6% and just add it very lightly here like that. A little bit here. We'll add many colors to this ocean now. Some here. Just keep your strokes horizontal. Let's change the color. Let's take this one. And just add it in few places. Now next one, this one. Now 
Now again this dark one here. We can add it here under the rock, like that. Now let's make the burst size smaller here, 2%. And we can extend these beach lines here, horizontal, like that. And we're going to have here some small rocks in the ocean. Let's take the smart tool and smart this a little bit so it looks nicer. And let's change the color. Let's take this one now and draw a little bit more here. Let's add it also here under the rock. And let's smudge it. So this is the base for our ocean now. We can now make a new layer to add some waves. Let's also set it to clipping mask. We can start with this color that we have now here. And let's change the brush. Let's go here to Elements and take Oceans. Let's make the brush size 25 and the brush opacity 53. Let's draw it very lightly here like this. Draw it kind of all over the ocean here. Now let's change the color. Let's take this one maybe and add it here too. Now another color. This one now. And the next color, we can use this light one here. And now let's take that dark color here, this one. And let's focus here on this side. And maybe just a little bit here. And now we can make the brush opacity 100%. And just add it here way more. Make it way darker here. I still want to darken those waves. So for this I'm going to make a new layer. I will also set it to clipping mask. And I will change your blending mode. Let's set this one to multiply. And we are going to change the color here. Let's take this one. And let's add it here on top of those waves. Just to make them a little bit darker here again. Now we can turn on the opacity of this. Let's make it 79%. Now we can work on this rock a little bit more and then on the beach here. 
and then we'll add those stones in the ocean. So let's go to the layer of the rock, this one, and let's take the eraser, let's tap on it again, and let's set it to airbrushing and soft brush. We are going to erase this bottom edge of it, just a little bit. Now let's go to the layer of the beach, this one, and let's change the color. Let's take this color here. Let's change the brush to airbrushing and soft brush. And we can just add it here again, like that. Make sure everything is covered. Let's make it darker now here, so take this color and add it here by the trees. And now we are going to add again some of those darker lines going to the ocean. So take this color, let's make the brush size 1% and draw the lines here again. Like that. Let's take the smudge tool and soften this a little bit. We can make a new layer to draw the rocks here. For this let's change the color, we'll take this one and we can draw them here like that. Just some shapes like this, nothing precise. We can add one more here. Maybe one here. Now let's draw some lines coming out of them and connecting them kind of with that beach. Let's take the smudge tool and soften the edges here. On the same layer and with the same color, I'll add a little bit more shadow still here under the trees. I'll make the burst size bigger, 3%. And very lightly, I'll just add it here like this. Let's make the bar size small again, 2%, and I'll still add a few lines here. Now we can add some light to the ocean and on the trees and the stone. Let's start with the ocean. So let's make a new layer and let's move this above those waves on the ocean and as you can see it is already set itself as clipping mask. Let's keep it this way. Let's change the color. Let's take this one and let's make the bar size bigger now. 8% and we can draw here some more highlights like this. And maybe here. And 
Now we're going to change the blend mode with this layer. So let's tap here, tap here, and let's set it to soft light. And now we can make this ocean even more vibrant. For this, let's make a new layer. Let's move this under that layer of the light on the ocean. We are going to change the blending mode here to hard light. And we can change the color. Let's take this one now. And we can just add it very lightly still here in few places. To make this light pop even more. Just like that. Let's turn down the opacity of this. Let's make it 74%. Now let's make here a new layer on top of everything over here to add the light on the rock and on the trees. Let's change here the blending mode. Let's set it to overlay. And here we can take the color manually. Let's take something yellow. So go here to the yellow and take something bright like this. We can make the brush size smaller for this, 4%. And let's add that light on top of the rock a little bit here. Do it lightly. Now here on top of those trees, on the edge of these trees here. A little bit here too maybe. And now just a little bit here on the edge of those trees in the back. Let's turn down the opacity of this. So tap here and let's make this 66%. And now again, we can make it stronger in a few places. So just draw a little bit more. And now if we came out of the lines here, we can use the eraser and fix this. Now in the end, we can select here a palm tree in the foreground. So for this, let's make a new layer. Let's pick the color. Take this one here. And here I'm going to use my stamp brushes. If you are interested, the link to them is in the description of this video. But if you don't want to use them, I will show you in a moment how you can do it without them. So here I can pick any tree that I like. And I will take palm tree 14. My brush size will be 100%. And I'm going to stamp it somewhere here like this. And now I can use the arrow tool to make it bigger. I will also rotate it a little bit. And move it somewhere here like this. Let's tap here to finish. And now I want to blur this a little bit. So I will go to the adjustments and take Gaussian Blur. Let's make it a small blur. 2% is enough. Let's tap here to finish. I will still make this a little bit bigger, I think. Like this. And now if you don't have my stem brushes, you can download the picture from Google of a palm tree. And then go to the actions menu. Go to add and insert the photo. Pick your photo. And then you can turn down the opacity of this. And make a new layer on top of this. And just trace it. You can take a brush something like maybe inking and studio pen. So you can just trace it like that. 
and then turn off this layer and you will have your palm tree. I seriously have to fix here this shape and then my drawing will be finished. I have to erase this here. Okay, this illustration is finished. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you can share your drawing with me on my Instagram, I would love to see it. And if you'd like to draw more of me, don't forget to check out my Patreon. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video, bye!